What's up guys, it's Sir Murph, Sir Murph Services, Moments with Murph, whatever you want to call me, we're back again with the Elantra. So today we're going to do the brakes because they are terrible. So I'm going to show you guys how to put the front ones on. First, we're going to tie it off so we're going to loosen our bolts. Mm -mm -mm. I love this one. <laughs> it's done me great justice. Alright, cool. So we have our rotor. Exposed the caliper. I'm mad. I nicked this and I gotta redo it. I already touched that up. But we got everything exposed. So first thing we want to do is identify all of our bolts that hold these in place. So we can see right here is the caliper bolt, and there's one below it. Bam, right there. Identical to it. And we also have the bracket bolts. So we're gonna have to loosen these two and then the two. You can see the other one at the bottom so we'll start there okay so because we want to take this off a step by step we're actually going to start with the caliper bolt bracket bolts so this is a 14 i believe let's see yeah ha ha 14 we're going to have our ratchet and because we're on the right side of the car we are actually going to pull down we're going to go down okay all right, so our ratchet on here, we're gonna go downward. Usually the bracket bolts are pretty simple to come out. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so we got both of those loose. Yep, one, two. Bam. All right. Now, it's been on here for a while, so let's see if this flies off. Well, let's give this some give. Give us a little bit of give. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Come on. Okay, here we go. Let me sit that up there for right now. All right, cool. I got a feeling that the caliper, the caliper bolt is gonna be the one that's the hectic. So yeah, 17 millimeter. All right. Still on the right side. Still in the back. So we're still going downward. Sometimes, sometimes these are on here pretty strong. Gotta get your breaker bar because you need more leverage. So, we're still gonna go downward. Yeah. So, again, if you ever need more leverage, get your breaker bar. Get your breaker bar. A little longer. Apply more pressure. All right, cool. All right, we got the top one broken, so get the bottom one going. There we go. All right, cool. Getting some movement. Getting some movement. Yep, there we go. All right, cool. Great, great, great. We got some rotation going. Okay. Now we can jump back to our ratchet. Now we got it loosen. Much smoother. Much smoother. So we're hitting that top bolt. There we go. The bottom one going. Yep. Much simpler. Sometimes you see that, you can break it apart. Cool.
Okay. And then bam, bolts out. We can take our caliper off. And yeah. So, you got the old ones out. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at new ones look. Look at that. Actually got some meat on there. Nice and clean compared to that one. Then we got the rotor. Gotta wipe it off some. But this is the new rotor. And compared to the old rotor. Yeah. You want the rotors to look nice and clean. So we actually are going to clean this off with some brake clean because we don't want anything, any residue on our rotors. So we're just gonna spray it down. Bam. The good thing is the brake clean dries up anyways, but dang, it's hard to keep the camera <laughs> in together. But wipe your rotor down. Nighter, better cleaner rotor. Sometimes you have these screws in here, and there sometimes they're a pain. Like there's a these are probably gonna strip, but you gotta remove these in order to take it out the rotor. All right, so good thing is we got the rotor screws out, so the rotor's a little stuck on there. So what you're gonna use? Gonna get your good mallet, and you're gonna hit here. On the outside and then I turned the wheel as you can see so this way you can get behind here and be able to tap it off now depending on how stuck it is depending on how hard you have to swing it and this is what it looks like exposed so then next what you're going to do a lot of people have different ways of spreading the brake pad piston back but what you're going to do is take a brake pad put it up against the piston then you're going to use one of these handy Little brick pad spares you can get from an auto parts store for like 10 bucks. And you're gonna make sure it's clamped in there and you're just gonna basically continue to twist this. You're gonna keep twisting it. You need two hands for it. But you're gonna keep twisting this until the piston is all the way back into the caliper. And then, as you can see, after we pushed it in with the spreader and the brick pad, you want that piston to be up against the caliper. So you see how, how much it was sticking out beforehand and how much it's compressed now. So I'm actually gonna clean this out a little bit and wipe it down because yeah it's nice and rusty you see it's falling apart so we're gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna get our brake pads in there okay so what we're gonna do now is put the bracket back on so we're actually gonna change these clips they're pretty old so this is what the old one looks like okay and this is what the new one looks like you see how it's much clean and shinier boom oh so we're gonna change these out and put the bracket back onto the rotor all right you guys close to anger can you hear the birds chirping <laughs> It's an early morning. So we're gonna put the bracket back in place first. I find this is the easiest way to get the brake pads in place. So we're gonna get the bolts back there. Oh, wait. We're gonna get the bolts back in place here and down there. So I will show you guys how we're doing that. Ensure that you always hand tighten them first to make sure they're actually threading in correctly before you ever try to go in and ratchet it. So those are in with the hand. Now we go in with our ratchet. You also don't want to tighten one side up too much until you get the other side completely in place. This way, you don't have to redo the job and go backwards. Trust me, I had to do that before. And then off centered.
Great. Mm. Don't over tighten it. Mm. Another quick tip. Your guide pins. You see how this one is moving freely? That means this one's pretty good shape and it is lube. But you see this one down here? Stuck. So that means there's no lube in here. But good thing too that we also have we also have some guide pins in case that did happen. So real simple to replace. You're really just gonna take this one out and put this right in this place with lubricant. So bam, put the in there. You see how that's free, that's moving freely now. Great. So now we're gonna get our brake pads on here. <clears throat> I usually start with the back one. So what you're gonna do is basically slide this into here and you're gonna be able to push it in. You're gonna wanna slide it into here and just gonna push this in. And you will see that it will be flush up against the rotor. All right, so we got the brake pads in there. Really just line them up within the holes down there. And this little gap will eliminate once we put the full caliper on there. Your caliper is gonna go back on top of it the same way we took it off. And we are straight. We got those tightened down at the bottom. Have everything in place. So, yeah. Now we're going to put the tire on and we're good. Thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned because this guy, we have a lot of issues to cover. So stay tuned.